It's winter, and it's almost 2017. Quite a while since ESET have released their version 10 lineup of products, so today we'll be taking a look at the brand new ESET Internet Security. This is Leo, and you are watching the PC Security Channel. At first glance, the user interface looks almost identical to that of Smart Security, which used to be their flagship product. You can scan your computer and uh, check out some of the basic features from the home screen. I like this new addition. If we go into setup and we look at computer protection, we will see um, some enhanced features in the new hips. So now we have an exploit locker and a dedicated module for ransomware protection. So the hips functionality of ESET has evolved gradually over the years and now we have an array of components instead of just the hips. So um, that will be interesting to see how that deals with zero day malware. I will show you that it is fully up to date, both the uh, product version and uh, the signatures. Now we're ready to start testing. We have about 10 links here. These are fairly new. I just grabbed them off VX Vault and Malcode and a few other sources. And most of them are verified to be malicious. So let's try them out and see what happens. So here's our first uh, application and it is blocked. The web filter gets it this time. The second one is helpconfig.exe. Immediately caught again. Want to get monitor speakers? You can get malware free with that. So this is just a demo of a malware. Don't worry, it's just a demo, but ESA doesn't let you get to that either. So far, so good. We haven't seen any link even load up. This one is a potentially unwanted page. I'll count that as a block. He said do have good filtering signatures, so this is not really a big surprise, but in any case, it's good to see. So we have completed the link test and nothing has even been downloaded. So that's an easy clean sheet there. Now we're going to get to the more challenging part of the test in which we will have a much larger sample size. So I'll have to pause the protection from ESET and we will grab our malicious files. In this folder, we have 1,406 items. I cannot guarantee that all of these are malicious, but most of them are. By the way, um, after a lot of um, verification on the samples used in one of my previous reviews, the Malwarebytes review to be specific, it turns out that my folder had quite a few false positives. I think about like 15, 20% or more. So um, I did go through a much more rigorous verification process for these samples this time. So do expect the detection ratios to rise. As always, I'm going to do a right-click scan with ESET and we'll see what it can find and remove. By the way, detection of potentially unwanted programs is enabled. The scan was really fast. I'm quite impressed with the scan speed, to be honest. And it seems to have a lot of items which uh, we need to manually decide what to do with. I'm just going to delete them so that we can get an accurate detection ratio. The deletion process was really quick as well. It does say that not all threats could be cleaned and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about the ones that it wasn't able to clean because it doesn't give me any more options. So we're simply going to dismiss this and move on and check what we have left in the folder. So it turns out we have only 98 items. And with the help of some quick calculations, I just determined that that translates to a detection ratio of 93%, which is pretty good. So now we're going to re-enable the signatures and zero-day defenses. 
And once everything is good to go, we are going to start executing the remainder of these files to see how ESET can deal with unknown malware. Some of these might still be broken or worse um, FPs, but we should be able to get a few unknown samples to run. It seems like an adware address was blocked, so one of these was probably a downloader. This seems like another shady application. Again, I'm not sure if this is malicious or not, but we'll let the second opinion scanners decide that. We're going to try running as many files as we can, although I'm not going to be physically running each and every one of these. The operating system is not presently configured to run this application. This is an error message I have never seen. All right, so most of these seem to be broken. We did see a couple of things that did run. This one just opened Internet Explorer, or oops, Microsoft Edge. Can't keep up. Lots of error messages, probably broken files, or maybe some of their dependencies were removed. It's also possible that he said clean some of them since a lot of the cleaning process was automatic. And I did not change any settings to specifically tell it to delete files. Okay, we're getting towards the end now. We do have a new desktop icon, so something did install. We'll find out if that was actually malicious or not. All right, we're seeing a PUP alert, so we're just gonna clean that. So he said maybe only removing the PUP part of these applications. It's probably why this thing didn't work. Cheater.blogspot.in. Wow. Doesn't seem to do anything else, though. Oh, actually it does. Cheat 1,000%. Um, no, actually 10,000%. No band. Guys, do you want to cheat 10,000%? Then this website is for you. VVIP. If you're a VVIP and you play IK LAN and you want to cheat 10,000% and not get banned, just go to this website. Awesome. Wow. I mean, the kind of crap we get these days is just crazy. But anyway, I guess that brings us to the end of the um, execution part of this test. We do have a few windows open. And now we have this casino application. I don't know if this is simply some illegal stuff, some kind of adware, shady, I don't even know what this is, or maybe it's just legit. So we'll find out. I'll reboot the system in a few moments, and then we'll do our second opinion scans, which will bring us to the final verdict. I have restarted the system, removed the malware folder, and cleaned up traces with CCleaner. Now it's time to look at our second opinion scanners. So neither Malwarebytes, nor Zamana, nor Hitman Pro have found anything on the system giving ESET a clean sheet. And Fars Total tells us that our casino game is clean too. 
Quick look at the processes also does not reveal anything suspicious. So I guess it is a clean sheet for ESET. Another good result. Of course, as a lot of you guys may be thinking, this test isn't everything. We're seeing more and more dedicated components, evolving malware. So a full review may not tell us everything, but it's a great place to start. And it's a very easy way to filter out products that are worth considering. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, full review of ESET Internet Security version 10. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of the brand new version of ESET? As you noticed in the test, it was able to block all the threats I threw at it. And apart from a few PUP pop-ups, it was entirely automatic. So I think this will make a great product for a lot of people who want a simple and automatic solution. Of course, uh, the cybersecurity industry is evolving and TPSD will have to evolve along with that too. So you'll probably be seeing a lot more deeper content in terms of malware testing. So don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.